Okay. So I got 14, 13, and 15. Um, Strongest might be Tristana, actually. But yeah, we take the take the Zed. Okay, so Zed wants us to have an aggro deck. Only thing that even comes close to being aggro here is this Blade Scout. Casas has got my mastery points and might still be Karma. Actually, it might be Nasus at that point. Kai and Boomerang Blades. I'm still going to take the Karma. And let's see here. Archivist is slightly tempting, but let's keep the let's take the Keeper. Uh, let's take Feyfolk, Sonic Wave. Uh, let's take Espirito, God Willow. Take the Windsinger Homecoming. Looks like we're going to be Mana Ionia, which I'm not sure how I feel about. <laughs> um, I'm really not so far with this turn to, this uh, Shadow Apprentice. I do want the Twin Disciples, uh, Twin Disciplines, of course. Think I'm going to take the Asari though. And do, 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 do you want a Zephyr Sage? What does it do for us? Not a heck of a lot, right? Uh, we're not really uh, drafting a common in mind, to be honest. Although, since you reminded me, we can possibly take this Deep Meditation. Hmm. I'm just not sure how wide we go for the student. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I think I'm actually I'm going to take the meditation because Lookout's a pretty good unit by himself. The student was pretty close though. I'm going to take the Dawn of Dusk here. Uh, going to take the. Ooh, I was going to auto pick the Fey guy, but we do have another Woodland Keeper. We don't have enough support for this flower child. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Woodland Keeper, actually. Uh, yeah, I should probably take the Shadow Seer here. Let's take the Elder, Winsinger. <laughs> um, let's take the Student Disciples. Disciplines. Uh, let's take a River Shaper Yasari. And let's trade out a Shadow Sift or a Twin Disciples. Okay. Looks like it kind of wants to be an Aqua deck. I mean, for the most part, it does. That, that one, the Deep Annotation pick was probably a little troll, though I probably should have just taken the double one drops, that, that, uh, that bucket. But that's okay. More singers. <laughs> singers is just not really a good card, to be honest. When it first came out, I thought it was pretty good, but it just, it's just... Kind of bad. <laughs> so I, uh, it's good in like very neat circumstances. Of course, those very neat circumstances uh, easily be the ones that I find uh, find myself in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do not have a good target for this at the moment. What's today's lesson?
So I'm gonna be discounting this down to one mana. <laughs> She's just like, wow. <laughs> Bad times. Get bloody, get paid. That's annoying. Take the high ground. Let's get to it. To not a great start. Left foot, left foot. And again, this could have been like just another one drop, which I, I quite honestly wouldn't be doing too much here, but. <laughs> they picked the wrong row? Looking for a daring escape? So we don't have a good play this turn at all, <laughs> which is a little annoying. Uh, let's stop the one he knows about. So we're gonna guard Willow the um, keeper next turn. We have homecoming this turn for protection. My opponent's actually not doing anything too scary on the other side of the board, so could have been a lot worse here. Only got one good block, the two one on the one one. So I gotta save this. My whole game plan kind of rel relies on on this woodland keeper, so. <laughs> Okay, so we're going God will of this now. Comma. Play it next turn.
four, eight, ten, twelve. Is on the wind. <laughs> Speaking of the very neat circumstances. That ironically is a saved one from Lethal, I'm pretty sure. See that, please. Thank you. So it's perfectly okay. I mean, he knows about this rinsing, this riddling keep on hand, though. So, like, why are you wasting a removal spell that's like saving you from, you know, just killing you next turn? Hmm, not sure about that. Oh, that's why, because you top deck a freaking hit the stairs. What the fuck? Uh. We still lose though, don't we? <sighs> Do get a blocker next turn. Whatever. So we're not dead in this open attack, at least. Just, I'm just really annoyed about a, <laughs> about a couple of things here, without a doubt. Such an annoying game. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, we should just take the duo student duo here.
That's fine. We won the game. That's what matters. <laughs> Doesn't matter how annoyed you got in the process. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I was close. Yeah, I was close after they hit the stairs. So we got Kama, Anivia, and Twindemir. Could have maybe Mulligan Kama and like look for another one drop. Might not have been too bad. Just like we practiced. Ooh, there we go. What do you call that Got the one drop anyways. A true Fragorian welcome. They'll never see me coming. We the left. If it's a fight they want. Left foot, left foot. Uh, hello, Zed. You can see the Devastian border from here. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? <laughs> Alert the villain! So I can press 12. I think we can still develop first. Check out these moves. This is extra point of damage. Not great for me, but we live. Thinking, feeling, is that all you do? Small minds know only. Um, so we kind of have to block this five five, don't we? Because otherwise, this Zed cannot attack possibly next turn. Oh, you're in for it. Oh, uh, that's an issue. Freaking elusive, he was gonna be close to dead? Eh, close to dead, maybe not completely dead though. But yeah, also does block the 4 2, unfortunately. It's just completely useless right now. It's kind of funny. What's today's lesson? Focus. Focus. What do these yordle eyes see? Okay, so if we open attack lethal at the very least. Not even notice the spell that Kama got me. Not like it matters too much. Oh, 
shadow. Okay, well, at least the bot didn't provide too much challenge. Okay, um, skip. Look out still doesn't provide too much value for me, but still, one run elusive is not also that all that great. Well, on the positive side, this is going better than my last mana I ran. <laughs> that that Ari deck that uh, went 0-2, that was pretty sad. Ran into Battle City twice in a row. <laughs> okay, so we got Zed and Pantheon over there. Two Zeds. Not the fastest start. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Oh, that's at least a good one drop. I will die that's a better one drop. Sometimes, fun times, fun times. I taste purple. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy. What are you? Like maybe I just don't block and try to kill Zed with the twin Disci twin disciplines later. Might be my best chance, honestly. We should block this oh, though. You're in for it. The world is survived. Try to kill Zed with the Sonic Way, but I don't think that's needed. This is becoming a little tougher to kill with the hand twin disciples. Found a Zed of our own finally. That <laughs> seems like ours is a little too slow. Well, we can't give a Sonic Wave though. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's actually fine. Hold on here. So that's six mana. Then we can still turn disciples if we want to. Yeah, let's go for it. Turn to simple discipline. Yeah, I'm just always going to call it disciples. Just, no, it is Disciples. I don't know. Does have a second scene in play? Okay, whatever. They follow the wrong master. Okay, 
That's fine. Don't look twice. So we're just going for lethal. Plus, we didn't even need to, to st lead with that, did we? Okay. Eh, close game. Actually taking this comma. It's like I don't think I want a second dawn and dusk and a god willow. The sun does nothing for us too. We do have some recall, so like at least this phase is gonna grow. Yeah, I think other Zed's obviously the better champion here. The you know this is better than this. So the other thing too is, um, when we homecoming, we should have homecoming the um, inferior unit. So those are those actually a couple of misplays that last game. That's a good thing that we still got there, despite the misplays. And not the strongest start. At least we have uh, twin disciples for backup for unset on turn 3. Just gonna take this damage actually. So 
so that was happening anyways because of overwhelm. So I don't need to concern myself about that. How'd you do that? Slightly worth considering if we sort of like just not play student and have deny mana up. I think this is probably fine. Also, we're probably facing a poor deck. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Uh, the 3 3 was a free attack, just missing damage there. But it's silly on my part. Yeah, he should be out of love in here. That's fine, though. Um, so how's it killing, um, Zed here? Another, um, it's gotta be another single combat. So, as much as we hate it, we should probably just pass. It's a pipe block now, I'm thinking. Who are you? Missed three damage, yeah, we did we definitely missed three damage. His bomb, huh? Stand behind Rob. Yeah, this is safe mana. <laughs> a good mustache on this one. I sense a darkness in you. Always two steps ahead. Oh god, so I actually cannot protect Zed here. That is sad. Fine though, we could God will of the um, elusive and we play it next turn. We just don't want to have deny mana up, that's all. Really, isn't is not the Also why are we not pulling anything with bomb? When I get I mean I, in retrospect, yeah, this is like obviously the better better thing to do because like if I do have something like this, it's just killing you, but it's like I don't know. Check out these moves. They won't suffer long. <sighs> Fudge. Sounds not doing me any favors. Be 
Demacia. Fighting makes for big appetite. Fight or die. Please control. Help is on the way. A fight. Can you stomach this? <laughs> Yeah, let's turn to this twin disciples into to come last turn to save our elusive. Look how we have grown! Maybe we should have taken this Dawn and Shadows, because like Dawn and Shadows definitely would be a lot better right now than this second denial that's doing literally nothing for us. Thinking, feeling, is that all you do? Small minds know only action without purpose. Reconsider. Do we need a block? Pretty sure we do not. Looks like 8 damage to me, so yeah, no block. But like, unless we draw elusive, uh, we're just not winning this. Kind of waste, but I mean, like, I I have this face up in my hand, you know. Okay, so now that's at least not a waste. So now I'm forced to use our twin disciples. Too much overwhelm. Turn too late, buddy. Turn too late. Turn late indeed. Yep. Let's take a fake guide over the deep meditation.
Yeah, definitely a bit unfortunate, I'm thinking. I am starting to wonder if that second deny was worth it out there. If we should have just taken the Dawn and Dusk. Just having two Dawn and Dusk seems just so bad, though. Well, that's a very slow hand. <laughs> I guess Noxus Aggro, too. Oh god, this, this could be ugly very quickly. Quietly. Down from the trees! Okay, well, at least that's something. I'm not aiming at two drops, also something. Ah, you're not plus out with two drop. doing the better job of being the aggro deck at the moment, so that's nice. Duo and lookout's pretty good. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Check the high ground. So obviously we're gonna play Asai here. We're just trying to kill him. I sense a darkness in you. Oh, I can't wait. But like, we know these attack, and there's this... Is there any reason to attack with these? So let's think about this. He's taking 8 from this, so he's taking... He's going down to 4. So he has to block both said copies. So it looks like we do get a shit attack with these, since he's, since he's forced to block the said copies. Uh, well, the said copy, not copies. I guess Rolling Death's an issue, but like, outside of Rolling Death, we're just putting him down to two this way. So yeah, there's the Rolling Death. But uh, my opponent apparently doesn't know how to do math. Four plus four plus four is twelve. So, good job, Mr. Opponent. And that is why you attack with the 2 2, so the opponent misplays. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> uh, that was some really odd blocking. I'm like, why did he block the Zed if you were going to and Death and Down? Like, I didn't even have mana <laughs> to save him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Odd, for sure. Well, at least that last game felt pretty good. We just curved out, so, which is like kind of surprising with like how how bad our opening hand was. Like a one drop and a t and two five drops and a six drop. So it's kind of nice that we just like we were top deck very well there. <laughs> but it does certainly help with the opponent misplays. We were like almost certainly always winning that last game, mind you, but like winning on that turn <laughs> when we shouldn't have is, is nice. 
So we got spider aggro over here. Yeah, because I have Zingo in hand, yeah. That must have been it. That must have been what I was overlooking. Oh, so this hand is pretty garbage against this uh, spider aggro. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do block a duo, apparently. I can keep it alive with, dis with Disciples, which I should probably do, but like... Yeah, we're, we're way too slow here. Quietly. Since when does the AI know how to properly attack? I demand a recount. This will be attacking. Where are you going? You guys not supposed to make smart attacks. Oh gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Well, apparently we know what we're blocking next turn. <laughs> I mean, we're just kind of wasting mana anyways. We might as well just bounce this. Obviously, she's just replaying it, but like, at least it gets replayed as a 1-1. One, one. What about those bonds? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you know, just a casual uh, 12 damage when I thought I was taking 4. No big deal. Jeez, that's not great. At least we're not dead on the open attack. But yeah, it's not great. Nature defies nature. Just like we practiced. I am the blade in the darkness. Supposed to be here. I can learn from watching you. I just run into Willing Death again. Always a way out. 
Like a storm, I bring change. Uh, is this lethal? I don't think so. Only the worthy survive. Oh yeah, not quite. Barely stays alive here. What the heck are these three cards? They're like not creatures. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. So thankfully I do have one fearsome blocker. Water changes but never breaks. Do have a second one in hand if I need it. Do not disappoint me. I guess we're dead to a random might. Okay, that's not might. What form will the waters take? Full speed ahead. God, that that bot was way stronger than it should have been. back to this one. So this is definitely a no. This is also a no. Hmm, I think we're gonna keep the lookout. I think I have enough elusives. Um, yeah, I got enough elusives. I don't really need to give anything um, quick attack. Uh, what, which turn? It was that one turn that he didn't, he didn't attack with the 2-2. Two -two. But, like, we were not taking that damage because the 2-1 would have blocked it. But it would have been one less creature for us in the future. So, I don't know. It, it might have made the difference. Anyways. Yeah, no no, no reason to have a young witch. I'd much rather have a look out to, like, discount these rain singers to be, like, halfway playable. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't a very fun match, let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> I wasn't exactly excited about uh, going down to one there. Maybe my mistake there was uh, not playing around rolling death. Okay, so we got ass for bomb. Two asses. Pretty bad opening hand. Which I seem to be seeing a lot with this deck, which is not a great sign. Okay, well, uh, my, my hand's getting in much, much better now. Oh, don't forget you won damage. Oh, hello, Zed. That's just cheating, and then avalanche, and we concede. <laughs> Quite honestly, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're still doing a lot of damage. It's not like I can't not attack there. So I couldn't make it sure that this thing dies, but like honestly we should probably just save this to try to get lethal in the future, so yeah.
Ah, it's not lethal. Need one more turn. What's today's lesson? Bomb is I'm gonna be out of the looses at that point, so Yeah. Spark and I will keep you safe. Warm hearts and hot soup. No, and he and he's healing. Not fair. Yeah, sorry. It's just slightly off, unfortunately. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Arrows at the ready. So we need to survive this and try to keep at least one elusive alive. My aim is true. But if we keep this elusive alive with like the twin disciples, then we don't have the plus three on this attack. Hmm. Let's say we keep it alive. We could uh, play Yasari. Six. I guess at that point the Sonic Wave is good enough. And this doesn't matter if we went into another Fast Bite or not. So I mean, I guess that's our best best play. Oh, but the stupid ass slowed up this turn, didn't it, see? So he's, he's just going to top deck the arrow. I forgot about that. Yeah, so he just top decks the arrow. Oh, but I have to deny for the arrow, because it is a slow speed card. Okay, so I, so yeah, the arrow I don't actually have to worry about here. There's another fast spot I do have to worry about. Unfortunately, I cannot play both this and this. The so three, six, ten. I have ten mana. Gotcha. So actually, it looks like we needed to draw this, otherwise we were just dead. Ah, no more fast bites. Okay, well, that's an easy trade. Uh, we come back to this, but that's an easy trade, so. Uh, so this is a no, this is a no, this is a no. Uh, no. Uh, no, and definitely no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, so Mana Ionia at final boss. Definitely a, a drastic difference from yesterday. What time is it? 10.30? Okay, so yeah, we probably have enough time for another one after this. Let's hope we can get, um... Sad. 
You still have that have time for another one? <laughs> Mm, looks like it might be a bot. Let's see, is it a bot? Ooh, it's the, uh, it's the dreadful, dreadful bomb bot. So I really want to see, oh, okay. <laughs> I really want to see that card. <laughs> okay, I feel much better now. I think this might be one of the few times I'm asking I'm actually hoping for a turn six out of the fluff. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. The Yordle here is with me. Okay, so we should not be in any real danger of um Zed dying to like a poor snacks next turn. Do not fear the shrouded path. Fluff will find you some friends. <laughs> Done to you. Ooh, there's that, but that's fine. I mean, it's not great, mind you, but I will live. Is it the boosters? Trying to get a little annoying over there. Water changes, but never breaks. That should still be fine. Show me your best. Currents, pull them down. A gift from the river. It is easy, see? We are definitely being a little slow here. Looks like we're probably just playing karma. Oh, well, let's not miss a point of damage if we're doing that. Ionia speaks through me. Fear beyond. So we have had to think on the next attack step. Other fluff would be pretty good for us next turn, in fact. It's not even that big, which is kind of funny. Still gonna recall it, obviously. Am I still recalling it? Oh, am I actually gonna try to like deal with it? I'm tempted to just try try to deal with it, cause like I'm a, I'm a little scared to like recall it and then um and then play it an even bigger one later on. Down to six, though. It's a little iffy. I mean, I do have Fae Folk next to and I could even could even do like something really meme -y. Uh Depending on how much mana we have next to but like Fae Folk, Disciples, Dawn and Dusk. But I just don't think we might. Don't think we're gonna have enough mana for all that. Let, let's see. Ooh, we got a heal card though. Also, first and foremost, we should just be looking at, is the opponent dead? That is what we should be concerning ourselves about, first and foremost. So let's say we play the hat sling. That is 4, 10, 
It's 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 death. <laughs> okay. That's 15, 13 over let me have over there. <laughs> As it was Man, made. no memes. So almost went perfect with Monionia aggro. Not bad. Eight. So we have what? One more day to try.